fair to send the children home and lose classes? Or should we look, of, uh, look out for another means of getting the fees paid? I think this is a great concern to those who have fallen victim of this situation. Thank you very much. Uh, now we have uh, foreign nationals that are in the Gambia and they are contributing one way or the other towards the development of this country. And I think when we are traveling from their countries, they are here, they came with their certificate. And uh, I, I heard from the chairman that uh, Gambians that attend uh, the Gambia College here, but we also have other recognized college out of the Gambia that are from other countries. So if you come with your certificate and let's say your CV and you apply to a nursery school, is it possible for the proprietor or the proprietors to employ you to, to do the job despite uh, attending the Gambia College? The, the answer is um, we recognize certificate from Gambia College and any other recognized institution. So it's not limited to Gambia College. That is also private between the proprietor and whoever he or she is employing. But let me say that the, the private schools should also go further to be able to verify the certificates that are given to them. Because we know that there are people that are doing certificates in this country for people. And it's going to be sorted out. In fact, that is the, the issue. We are not saying don't look at certificates that are not coming from Gambia College. Most of us Gambians here got our certificates from colleges and universities outside. And it's on the basis of that that we are employed. But they are not forged certificates. We, we caught somebody in our office, unfortunately, somebody that presented a certificate to have done physical education at Milton Magai when I was there. And he used that for several years teaching in the schools. When he was asked whether he knew me, he said no. That was when, you know, those that were conducting the interview knew that he was you know, presenting a forged certificate. That, that is the issue. We are not saying don't employ them, but make sure that you verify to, you know, ensure that they are presenting to you the right certificate. And with this day and age of uh, technology, they can easily, easily. I'm telling you, it's even happening with worse results. It's happening with worse results. People presenting results that are not, you know, theirs. So you have to be very, very vigilant. But as the DPS admin said, we are taking or accepting certificates from any recognized institution. I was sitting here listening attentively. My name is Jacob Jimau Obichre from Delta, Delta Nursery School. Better nursery school. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you so much for this uh, forum. I think it's a very important forum that we have at our disposal. We have not been opportune to, to have a word or two with top officials like this and uh, this forum is a very important one. Uh, what I just want to say is, when a school is closed, that means you lack one or two things. And it should not be a shame that your school is closed. I think it should be an, a waking up call for you to prepare yourself very well and meet the challenges that are ahead. Because in every country, we need quality. And quality must not be compromised. So if your school is closed, that doesn't cry you down to, 
to, to say my school is closed, so I, I give it up. Go ahead and do what is required so that the country will benefit and you as a proprietor will also make sure that you get the quality you need. So this is a, a form of streamlining the, the, the qualities of education everywhere in the world. And Gambia should not be an exception. I just also want to say that uh, I put one or two things here, which I think um, listening to the discussions needed to maybe be put in place or should be addressed. What I realize is I think there's no strong private sector or private schools association. Because if it were there, I think there would be a helping hand to the Ministry of Education to monitor and to also validate, validate all these uh, things that are going on to streamline them to make sure that they will conform to standards. So this issue of private school association, I feel it should be encouraged by the ministry so that the private school association will also come up strongly and support the, the, the Ministry of Education in their drive in achieving quality education in the Gambia. When I heard that my school was closed, that was in the morning, and uh, I, I was, uh, how come that my school is closed among the list of schools closed? So I had no waste time. I rushed, I called my permanent, uh, my cluster monitor to alert him and said, okay, go to the ministry and find out your reasons for closing of your school. So I did that immediately and went to the Ministry of Education in Bangu and I met with the permanent secretary and Mr. <laughs> Mr. We sit there. So they told me, uh, your school is closed on condition that both the primary and the, uh, the ECD is housed in the same premises. self contained house. <laughs> so I so, said, oh, that's fine. So, so, um, so I asked, what should I do? What is the way forward? Then they said, okay, the way forward is to push the primary school out of the ECD, find a suitable place that the primary school can be, look, uh, can be housed or can be, I mean, located. And so, okay, if that is the case, then I should make a, a move. I shouldn't sit down and disappoint my parents. I should stand up and fight up and make sure that I satisfy the condition of the Ministry of Education. And I took it upon myself, went all around, scout everywhere where I can get a place that conforms with the Ministry of Education. And I did that. And I reported back to the Ministry, and they did inspect the place. And I think from there, I know surely as I stand here, that <laughs> it is all about truth. <laughs> The question I want to ask is that now we have been, the association have been trying every time, every of our meetings, even before this thing happened, every of our meetings, we have, the president is here, Honorable Babu is uncle, always, all the time, say it in our meeting. If you know you are not up to standard, if you know you, are, you don't have this, please go and upgrade your school, all the time. The last meeting we had concerning the issue of we, you, you are giving a, a one, one letter to approve, a, to, to run a school, then you now went to, to start having so many branches. If I lamented on it. So what we are seeing all this is now is, is surprising. I mean, it's not so surprising to us because we have been hearing it. But this matter, this forum has come in a big way for us to sit tight and do the right thing that we should do. That is the truth. And the question I want to ask, sir, please, I want to beg the ministry, I want to beg that Musa Medewi is here, he will bear us witness. It would be very good if they will follow up the zones they set up long ago. Like we have about six zones in Region 1. And each of these zones, they have a zonal coordinators. 
These solar coordinators, all of them, they know all the schools in their zone, whether you like it or not, they know.